So if a man makes a choice and he ends up in jail because of whatever criminal activity he decided to participate in, he is not only expected to suffer the consequences by giving his time to the Department of Correction, but then when he gets out of jail, he has to double time his efforts in order to make up for the time that he's missed in society. If he gets up and makes poor financial decisions, he is the only one that is going to be expected to pay the bills, pay down the debt, to get out of it. And he's still going to be expected to pay his own way while he's doing it. If a man decides to live an unhealthy life and do all the drugs and do all the drinking and eat whatever and ends up physically unhealthy, nobody is coming to nurse him. Because remember, we ain't nurse wives. Okay? But why women are not held to the same level of accountability? Why is it that we ignore the red flags for these Dusties that we give babies to and then it's the Dusty's fault that he is a Dusty and he got you pregnant? It's never your fault that you ignored the red flags and got pregnant by a man who was already neglecting three, four other kids. You thought you was going to be different? Why is it that women can go out and do retail therapy and run up all of this debt trying to fill voids, but then they expect to get married to a man and have this man come in and pay this debt? You were a career student and ain't got not one degree to show for it, but you got $75,000 worth of student loan debt and you expect this man to marry you and pay it or the government to come in and wipe it out. You decide that people should take me as I am. And so you eat whatever, you don't exercise, you don't take care of your skin, you don't even love yourself properly. And then when men do not find you desirable, even your girlfriends are telling you, girl, you don't let yourself go. Girl, y'all should love me how I am. This is who I am. This is me. And people are supposed to accept that. Y'all see how it is such a drastic difference? When you make poor choices, you suffer some of the consequences. But these same women are the ones who feel like I should be able to marry a man that makes six figures and six feet with a six pack or whatever craziness y'all be saying. But you ain't done no kind of work to earn that type of man or to attract that type of man. Just a thought I had.